from 1963, according to the patent. Here's the time eater, interval timer from Numicron. If you want to check YouTube videos for Numicron time eater, you'll find hundreds of them, but not for timers, for clocks, uh, including a video from me. But this is different. This is a timer for, I think according to the patents, mostly photography stuff, darkroom timers or something. It has an outlet on the right, number one, that's always charged when the timer is running, so your appliance is on. And number two will turn on when it reaches zero. And you just uh, turn this to go to your zeros. And uh, that's pretty much it has a buzzer, like I say, but mine does not work right. That could be operator error. So here's the uh, basic patent sheet from 1963. It's approved, I guess, 1966. There's not much inside here. Um, a switch to turn things on and off. A lot of text that kind of hard for me to fight through. The only thing on the side is this time range says zero to 57 minutes. According to the patent, these things can be set for 50, for 57 seconds, even though there's 60 increments on the dial, or 57 hours, I guess. I don't know if the user can set those gears, but it's certainly an option for the manufacturer, I guess. There's a little knurled knob here where you can change this one around. So if you wanted to get the exact same setting each time without worrying about how accurate you are on this, you could put that wherever you're, you have your setting and uh, tighten that down and it will just follow and stop the procedure at the same time each time. You could do intervals re repetitive, etc. So I thought we'd try this out, even though it's just a timer and nothing special. Use a couple of little uh, night lights from the dollar store and uh, see what we get. The case is just plastic. I don't think it's Bakelite. Kind of dirty. I'll have to clean that off eventually. The back. This is interesting because they show the workings. Uh, that's an embossed on there. Television clock. Got the old type of thing before zip codes. Date of 063, Model 90, Pittsburgh 8, PA. You see all the wiring, motor, this control switch for the electricity, and the uh, indicator dial that spins around. And it's that simple. Looking inside the back, you can see our wiring, our motor, our dial indicator, our buzzer, and our electric switch there. And the little gear that decides when to turn things on and off. When it's at zero, there's a little groove there. As it turns, as this turns to zero, that'll, that groove will come up. And uh, what's in the right side will turn off and what's in the left switch will turn on. And we have, I think I said our buzzer. That's the entire insides along with uh, some other gearing things. All right, 
I set the timer for 57 minutes. And check out how accurate it is with this stopwatch. And uh, the one on the right side is on as it should be. The one on the left side is off. And according to the patent, for something very similar anyway, the left side should turn on and the uh, right side should turn off when it's done counting down. We'll have to wait and see. We're about five minutes to the end. You can hear the motor running. And if you look back here, you'll see a notch in that little wheel. I think when the uh, switch hits in that little notch detent, that's when the action happens, this being the switch. One will turn on and one will turn off if it's working right. I don't know if the buzzer will go off. I've had issues with the buzzer before. Um, fighting through that patent language, it sounds like the buzzer should go off at zero. But it doesn't always do it when there's anything in the outlets. I can get it to do it when there's nothing in the outlets, but we'll see. I'll watch this 57 minutes. Okay. Right one turned off, left one turned on. And the motor has stopped, but there was no buzzer. It hit the groove, it looks like, as it should have. But why no buzzer? I don't know. So I can make the buzzer come on when there's nothing in either side. So I don't know if that's an operator error of some sort or if the switching is faulty. Well, that's been the Numicron Interval Time Eater from 1963 from Goodwill. Not much to it, but I thought this whole thing was kind of interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.